Hello, Mr. Montgomery. In this video, we're going to talk about why we observe seasons on the Earth and why that is is because of the Earth's tilt. So I've got a couple of different models here to help us talk about why we experience seasons. And I'm going to be talking about what's occurring in the northern hemisphere. So the first model is a planetarium. So we have the sun, the Earth, the moon, representation of Venus over here as well. And what I want you to notice is this piece right here, as I move uh, the earth around the sun, this piece allows the distance from the earth to the sun to change here. But notice also the tilt of the earth itself, this 23 and a half degree incline. So at this position, right now the sun and the earth are actually close together, as close together as they're gonna get on this model. And if we live in the Northern Hemisphere, we might think, okay, well, if we're close to the sun, as close as we're gonna get, that might be summertime. But actually, this is wintertime. And the reason is because you see how the Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. And by being tilted away from the sun, that means the sunlight's gotta spread out over a larger area and not be as intense. Just the opposite's occurring in the Southern Hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. That light coming in is gonna be more intense and cause it to be summertime. All right, so I'm going to move this around here and switch sides of the table. And now you can see, again, based off this little piece, the sun and the earth are farther away than they were before. But now the northern hemisphere tilts toward the sun. And now the sunlight can come in here more directly and cause warmer temperatures, cause it to be summertime. Right? And again, just the opposite happening in the wintertime. You're going to have, um, or just the opposite happening in the southern hemisphere. They're experiencing winter. And they experience winter at a greater distance from the sun. So that's why Antarctica, coldest place on earth, more extreme, colder winter. And just going back to where we were earlier, okay, that the Southern Hemisphere has summertime when they're closer to the sun. So they can get a more extreme change between summer and winter when it comes to temperatures. All right, so second model here is this solar motion model. And I happen to live about 35 degrees north of the equator. And so that's why I have this set up the way it is right now. And as I turn this thing around here, you can see there's a little piece here on the side, this little silver piece. And all we do here is adjust that for the date. So right now it happens to be um, kind of middle of August. So I'll put it right there for now. And this little thing then represents the sun. And so what this is saying is, you know, as the sun, sun rises and moves from east to west, or it appears to move from east to west across the sky, you can see the pathway the sun takes. And especially if we go back up here to, you know, beginning of summer, then what you can see is the sun takes a long pathway through the sky. It's there for a long time. You get a lot of daylight. That gives the sun more time to heat up the northern hemisphere to have those warm temperatures. All right, but if we get down here to winter time, and I'm going to put it all the way down here at the bottom, what you're going to see is the sun is only going to take a short path through the sky. And that short path means there's less daylight, means there's less time for the sun to heat up the earth, also less direct heating going on, more indirect heating that lights being spread out over more area. All right. As opposed to the other thing would be to put this at the equinox. So you can see where March and September overlap here. So this is around March 21st, September 21st. And right there, the sun's rising on the east, setting right on the west. You're going to get about 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. So hope these models are you know, beneficial where you can kind of see a little bit um, of what's really going on throughout the entire year for us on Earth. 